So I've started a brand new project. So on screen, we can see the Flutter demo code. So the first part is, let's just tidy up this. So I'm gonna delete the My Home page, remove these comments here, delete this comment here. Let's update the title. Chinese flashcards. I'll remove the theme data information here. We'll be updating our theme shortly. And then I'll create a new home page. So we're going to have a couple of pages in the app. We will have a home page, which will have all the topics. We'll have the actual flashcards page where we can self test ourselves. We'll have a review page where we can review any cards that we have saved the device that we want to review again, and also a settings page. So the first part, we're going to focus on building the home page. And because we have a few pages, we'll arrange these in their own directory. I'll name this pages. And then the first one will be the home page. Okay, STFUL tab to create a new state for widget and home page. Import the material library by right clicking. Now let's reference this new file in here. So import. Okay, so now we have, a, we should have a black screen. Do a hot reload, yes. And now also I wanna remove that debug banner up the top. So press D, select debug show check mode banner and pass in false. Now that little banner on the right has disappeared. Okay, cool. So now we have set up the uh, basic shell, we can start building this out. So let's go to the home page. So first of all, I will use a scaffold. So the go-to widget for building out the layout. And let's create a title for the home page. So using the app bar, name this Chinese flashcards. Okay. Cool. Let's also center the title, use the center title property in the app bar, pass in true. And remove the elevation, which is that little shadow under the app bar. Just to give it a cleaner, flatter look. Okay. So now we have an app bar, we have the title, a very basic title. We'll come back and make that look a little bit uh, prettier shortly. I also wanna build out the body. So here I want, for the home page, I want a big image for the background and then all of the topics laid out in a grid view that can be scrolled up. To do that, I'm going to use the body property here and then use the custom scroll view widget. And that will take in a list of slivers and a sliver is just a portion of the scrollable area. So this will allow us to customize how we want our scroll view to look. Now we could have just created the whole home page using the custom scroll view and not bothered with a, a scaffold. But in this case, I find by using the custom scroll view here with the body, it gives us just a little bit more control over what we want to achieve. So the first sliver I wanna pass in is an app bar. So it will be a sliver app bar. And this will basically be responsible for holding the image, the background image. In the sliver app bar, I'll then use the flexible space property and use the flexible space bar widget. And the reason for using the flexible space bar widget is if I've just pressed control Q on it here, and we can see that when it collapses, so when it um, folds up, it will fold up with a parallax effect. So that's a nice little touch. So here, I'll select the background property in the flexible space bar, and this is where I'll pass in the image. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna put a text as a placeholder, and we'll import the image shortly. Hot reload. Okay, so we have our flexible space bar there. Now, I want that to be about almost half of the screen for the image. So first thing I'm going to do is I wanna get the dimensions of the device. So let's come up to where we've got the build context and we'll use media query dot of and grab the size. Let's save that in a variable so we can use that however many times we want. Okay, so now we have the height and width of whatever device this app is running on. Then in the sliver app bar, I'll select the expanded height property 
Now we can pass in the height. So size dot height, and we'll make this say 0 0.4. Let's have a look. Okay, cool. So that's about, uh, I think that's, that's pretty much what we want. We can adjust that obviously if we want, um, but let's go with 0 0.4. And now I'll wrap the text with some padding as well. I'll use size dot width times 0 0.1. Okay, and now in the custom scroll view, I want all of the topics for all of the flashcards to be laid out in a grid format, and then that can be scrolled upwards, scrolled vertically. So we have one child, the sliver at bar. We can come down and use a sliver grid. So here we have two required parameters. We have a delegate and a grid delegate. Let's look at the delegate first a sliver child builder delegate and this will be responsible for building out the actual topic tiles the grid tiles so here we need to have a builder so we have a context and an index and an index will line up with every single child will be assigned a different index so we can track all of our children using the index here which is of type int and in the meantime, let's have our builder just return a container and we'll update that shortly. Okay, so we have our delegate. So we've passed in a sliver child builder delegate. So this is our builder here. This will build out all of our tiles on demand, build out all of our children as we scroll up. So we can have an infinite amount of children. So we could just keep adding topics to this app. Now let's look at the grid delegate, and this is responsible for the layout, how we want it to look. Here I will pass in a sliver grid delegate with fixed cross access count, and this basically allows us to set how many columns we want running along the horizontal axis. So when we can scroll vertically, the cross axis will be the horizontal axis. So here we can set cross axis count, and pass in three. So we'll basically have three columns here. Now let's see how that looks. I'll do a hot reload. And we have three columns, but we cannot see that because obviously the whole screen um, is just red or the whole scrollable area is just red. So we need to create some spacing. So let's create some spacing on the cross axes first. We'll pass in say six and also on the main axis here. Let's do a hot reload. Cool, and now we can see that we can scroll up and we could just keep loading topics. And I also wanna create some padding on the left and right hand side. So the custom scroll view, I will come up here and wrap that with some padding. And instead of wrapping all sides, I just wanna wrap two sides, the left and right and I'll create a variable here. So we can just set that to size dot width and we'll say 0 0.04. And then down here we have only, so we have left and we'll pass in width padding and we have right and we'll pass in width padding. And you can see we have an error here and that's because we have the const keyword and because we will be getting the size at runtime, we cannot make this a const. So let me remove the const keyword there. And voila, our error has disappeared. Okay, cool. So now let's check that out. Okay, cool. So we just have a little bit of padding on each side. And that's part of the reason that I like putting the custom scroll view against the body, is we can wrap that in some padding, but have this app bar separate. Now looking at the app bar too, I'd like that to be a little bit bigger. So I'll use toolbar height, size, dot height, I'm 0 0.15. So we've just pulled that app bar out. 
I also want the app bar to have rounded corners on the bottom left hand side and the bottom right hand side. So I'll use the shape property and now I can use a rounded rectangle border. Here I can select border radius and use border radius dot only. And now I can select, I want bottom left and then radius dot circular. And then let's pass in say 30 and also on the bottom right. Okay, so we're using the rounded rectangle border and now we can set customize how we want the border radius to look. Okay, cool. So we have curves here. Uh, it looks a little bit funny at the moment because our colors are off, but once we update our themes, it should start to look a little bit nicer. Okay, cool. So we have our app bar there. We have where our image should go and we have where our topic should be arranged in the grids here.